that the Torah is telling us a different message, which is one of the most critical messages for a person to know is that the divine decree that comes from HaKadosh Baruch Hu laughs at our effort. If there is a decree for someone to succeed, no one in the world can cause them to fail other than they themselves by doing something that would cause them to lose that blessing that they have. On the other hand, if there's a decree for someone to fail, to be sick, to die, or to suffer in any other way, no one in the world can change that decree other than the person themselves. And this is why when people come to me and they ask me, listen, can you please give a blessing or pray for such and such person? Or can you have one of your dayanim or even the mekubal that we're connected to or a couple of them, Baruch Hashem, uh, do a pidyon nefesh or do uh, one of the tikkunim or something for for such and such person, the first thing that I ask is if these people are Torah observant. And if they're not, they have to become. If they're not willing to become Torah observant, if they're not willing to take on mitzvot and keep Shabbat and take on an important mitzvah, then we simply tell them that the prayers are not going to help. And uh, even at times, many times, when people offer us money, I say, listen, pray, do such and such for such and such person, and uh, we'll donate this. And I tell them, don't donate anything. I don't want you to donate, not because we don't need the money, because we can play, we can certainly use it for a million and a half different things that we have on the, uh, on the list. But rather because I don't want you to think that just because you paid money that it's going to work. It doesn't work that way. The money helps, but we need a mitzvah from that person to make it help. Oh, can I do a mitzvah for them? No. They themselves have to help themselves. You can't do a mitzvah for them. You can't do a mitzvah to help somebody that is, in essence, declaring themselves an enemy of God. They're not keeping Shabbat. They're not keeping family purity. They make fun of the Torah. No mitzvah in the world is going to help them other than the mitzvah that they do. And so long as they deny the Torah, HaKadosh Baruch denies them the blessing. Now, here we see that the Torah is telling us clearly that if there is a divine decree that a person is supposed to suffer, that divine decree on the same day that HaKadosh Baruch Hu decrees it, He also decrees its end. When it will end. And no one in the world can get in the way of that. And therefore He teaches us in this Pasuk, So Paro sent and summoned Yosef and they rushed him from the dungeon. Meaning that the moment of the decree of Yosef being in the prison was completed, the world was not allowed to continue functioning with him being in a dungeon, meaning they had to rush him out of this dungeon because the decree is over. Now, as far as meeting with Paro, that's secondary. That, you need to groom him, you need to take care of him, change his clothes, give him a haircut. That we're not in such a hurry of. The key is that the decree is over. This is very, very important for people, especially people that are either depressed or borderline depressed because they're, you know, they're going through a tough time. You know, the financial issues, health issues, marriage issues, zivug issues, all types of things, you should know. So long as you yourself do not ruin your blessing, so long as you yourself do not do things that cause you to get more, get more difficulties. If you're doing everything that you're supposed to do, you're serving Hashem, you pray to Him, you give tzedakah, you uh, learn Torah, you follow the mitzvot, you do all the things that you're supposed to do, and you're not ruining the blessing by violating Shabbat, by wasting seed, by being immoral, by stealing, by gambling, you know, all the, the same list that causes people to lose their blessing that we always talk about. As long as you're not ruining your blessing, you should know 
that dark cloud that's above you right now that's causing you to lose money that's causing you to be sick that's causing you to to have a difficulty that dark cloud has an expiration date and that expiration date will come don't lose hope don't jump off don't become depressed why there's no point depression is not going to make that dark cloud go away in fact it may cause it to stay longer killing yourself is not going to make the dark cloud go away it'll just make it permanent the key is to know the dark cloud has an expiration date you can do things to make it go away sooner but all of them have to do with spirituality and not with you beautifying yourself or working out or taking vitamins or uh you know being more aggressive in your search for a a new wife none of that stuff is going to help you the key is to connect to akadosh bohu that's going to make you realize that the difficulties have an expiration date now here we see yosef rushed out of the dungeon 